Here to perform the welcome to country is Jagera elder Uncle Des Sandy. He is a traditional custodian of this land south of the Brisbane River, which is Jagera country. Please welcome Uncle Des Sandy. It is Kurilpa, but uh, we, we call it Kurilpa. And anybody know what a Kuril is? A rat. A rat. A native rat. He runs along the, the river there amongst the Tenchi. Been here forever and is going to be here forever. That, that's what totems do. Looks after uh, areas like Kuralpa around this area. It's quite enough for me and I'd like to thank us once again for the, you know, inviting me to this wonderful um, occasion. Please welcome James Spiegelman, the chairman of the ABC. I commence by recognising the first Australians on or whose land or the land that's surrounding us. We meet the Turbal and Dugara people who are the traditional owners of the land and I pay my respects to their elders past and present. I thank Uncle Des Sandy for his welcome to country. This welcome and acknowledgement have a particular significance for me and for this occasion and therefore for all of us gathered here today. Involvement with the rights of Indigenous Australians has been an important part of my personal journey. Relevantly, in May 1999, as Chief Justice of New South Wales, I organised and presided at the ceremony to mark the 175th anniversary of that court. This was the first official occasion anywhere in Australia, to my knowledge, that commenced with a welcome to country. You could have heard a pin drop in the Banco Court. We've all become used to these welcomes now, but personally I've never regarded the recognition as simply ritualistic. It has meaning at different levels. On some occasions, it connects with the spiritual heritage of Indigenous Australians in a particularly poignant manner, and that is true today. A few weeks ago, this building was cleansed in a traditional smoking ceremony, and the bad spirits were expelled. As Her Excellency and uh, Mark Scott have highlighted in their addresses, we are, he we are here today because of the cancer cluster that was identified at our former premises. In these circumstances, the smoking ceremony could not have been more apt, and it's a connection with our Indigenous heritage that is directly relevant to why we stand here today. <laughs> 